A wrestling star and former WWE Hall of Famer is back behind bars in Volusia County after a judge revoked her $227,000 bond on a DUI manslaughter charge. So 49-year-old Tamara Sitch is accused of driving drunk in March, killing one person and injuring several others. West Coast Claire Metz reports the judge ordered Sitch back into custody to protect the community. Tamara Sitch has three DUI convictions out of Pennsylvania and a DUI charge pending in New Jersey. At the time of the fatal crash in Ormond Beach, she was driving on a suspended license. She has consistently shown that she's going to get behind the wheel of a vehicle intoxicated. Prosecutors say Tamara Sitch, wrestling stage name Sunny, has a drinking problem, one that led to a fatal crash March 25th on US-1 in Ormond Beach. Sitch was allegedly drunk with an unsealed bottle of Grey Goose in her Mercedes when she slammed into the back of a Kia, killing driver 75-year-old Julian Lassiter. Mr. Lassiter's car hit a vehicle in front of him and there were injuries. Sitch's blood alcohol level came back at more than three times the legal limit. Vodka was her drink of choice. She made admissions towards driving that evening, admitted to drinking vodka. Sitch's attorney asked for house arrest with an ankle monitor that has an alcohol sensor attached. But Judge Karen Foxman, reflecting on Sitch's past history and a recent incident after the fatal DUI crash in which Sitch was reportedly found intoxicated outside a local bar and hospitalized, said nothing short of jail can protect others. We have seemingly one event after another related to alcohol abuse. Defendant is a, a threat to the community. Sitch, who did not testify, embraced her fiance James Penty and was then taken back into custody. Penty briefly spoke with us outside the courtroom. Everybody's been hurt, not just the family. I feel terrible for that guy's family. However, Penty said if the state wanted Sitch behind bars until trial, she shouldn't have been granted bond in the first place. He loses the amount he put up. That should have been decided before collecting $22,000 of my money. Family members of the man who died were in the courtroom. They did not want to comment right now, but a spokesman previously told us they are grieving for Julian Lassiter, calling him a man of generosity and enthusiasm for life. In Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News. In addition to DUI manslaughter and driving with a suspended license, Sitch faces eight other DUI-related charges in connection to that deadly crash. She is scheduled to be arraigned in two weeks.